this is what you guys are here for the review my personal opinion on this billionaire morning routine okay so from the moment you wake up we gotta recall our dreams and I am not very good at remembering my dreams I don't know if it's a practice you have to actually mentally think of or you know you actually have to be like before you go to sleep like drill it into your head remember your dream remember your dream remember your dream but I don't really remember my dreams like very rarely I do I remember nothing I'm trying I can't remember anything but like I've been trying to make more of a conscious effort to remember my dreams and struggling like there was one dream that I recalled out of the whole week that I tried the billionaire morning routine like the five days that I did it just one and it was a dream of my high school crush <laughs> a dream about him literally I have not thought about him in years and it was weird seeing him I'm just like what are you trying to say like what is my subconscious mind trying to tell me like what is she saying what does this mean? It's just weird dreaming about this guy that I have not seen or thought about in a long time. Yeah, so please, someone, someone that knows something, tell me something, <laughs> anything. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna actually incorporate that into my morning routine, but if that's what it takes to become a billionaire, I might just have to do it every single day. Might have to. <laughs> and then make your bed. Literally, I make my bed every single day. I've been making my bed every single day for I don't know how long. Literally, it's just like a routine for me, myself, and I, to make my bed every single day. It just makes me feel good to make my bed. Like, there's something about making your bed where you feel, like, accomplished already for the day when you make your bed, you know? And honestly, when I come home from work or anything, I just want to come home to a fresh, clean, crispy bed. If you're someone that doesn't make their beds, please make your bed. If you want to be a billionaire... You gotta make a bed every day, that's what it says, so listen to the people that are billionaires. Anyways, okay, next was meditate. I have been trying to meditate, but usually I meditate at night time before I go to bed because it kind of calms my thoughts a little bit because it's always working, it's always thinking about something irrelevant. So that's why I struggle to go to sleep sometimes because like, it's always thinking. In the mornings, I don't usually find time to meditate. I feel like personally it takes too much time, but like... I will try to incorporate like five minutes even to meditate because like honestly I can't even go longer than five minutes sometimes a lot of the times yeah meditation for me was pretty decent I would say I found it hard to focus I'm not gonna lie like I just was like is it 10 minutes over here is it 15 minutes over here I was struggling so um, this girl has to kind of train herself to be able to sit through a whole meditation practice for like 10-15 minutes but as of right now we're gonna keep it to a five minute max next was like the two minute movement i didn't know if it was meant to be like vigorous exercise for two minutes um so like the first few days i did do like full on like star jumps high knees and all this cra the crazy movement exercises that were getting my heart rate up for two minutes <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i couldn't last for two minutes because i literally i literally just woke up the sudden movements was really just like getting to me i don't think i could do like sudden movements like that for two minutes in the morning i'd rather just keep it calm and peaceful so i did do yoga the last day i did it and i feel like that was so much better much more doable to do yoga or even pilates for two minutes and if i was to do movement i would stick to like the very like slow and controlled exercises for two minutes no star jumps none of that <laughs> no thanks i think i'd probably rather just go on a walk I've been going on walks every day for like, I don't know how many months, but I feel like that helps me clear my mind better. And I guess I do incorporate meditation during that time too. I listen to meditation music when I'm walking. I don't know, there's something about it. It's actually so quiet, dead quiet, because no one's walking around, no, no cars, nothing. Oh, and having meditation music on, just it just does something for me. So I'd rather do that. Oh my goodness, the cold shower. That was something I was not looking forward to. The first day, died. Second day, also died. Third day, I think I was starting to get used to it. It was still very hard to get into the shower because it was cold, okay? It's cold weather. I'm not that excited to go jump into cold water at the same time. Like, 
I'm not I, I'm not that excited. I'm growing like a thick skin to cold water. I, it's it's I'm feeling much better. Like honestly, I do recommend it though. I do actually because I feel so much more awake and just like like I do feel good after. I'm not gonna lie. Guys, I actually recommend that. I feel so good now. I feel like wide awake. I'm ready to go for the day. I'm ready to go to work. Yes. I didn't feel like groggy, or, like my mind wasn't foggy. Kinda rhymed there, didn't I? But yeah, no, I actually recommend it. If you're willing enough to try, even do like 30 seconds. But I wouldn't do it every day. I don't think I would. I don't think I have the balls to do it every day. But I would try to incorporate it a few times a week. Especially in the days where I'm feeling very groggy. Um, but yeah, definitely would actually recommend that. Wow. I didn't think I would say this because I was actually dreading this whole cold shower thing. But we've got to think like a billionaire. We've got to act like a billionaire. And this is what they do. So we're going to try to try to try. <laughs> Keyword, try. Next was journaling. Um, typically, I like to do journaling at night time because I have more time at night to journal. And I also like to reflect on my day rather than journaling in the morning personally. So I would cancel journaling in the morning I just wouldn't do it I'd rather do it at night time at least I still journal okay I still get my feelings out it's not at the right time that the billionaires do it you know yeah it just took too much time especially when I had work like I was kind of struggling for time and I had to journal for like 10 minutes I can do five minutes but like I feel like it's not enough for me I need like at least solid 10 minutes to journal um what was next reading also, I'd rather do reading at night time, but like I, I could easily make time to read like even one chapter of a book if I wanted to, so I can. I will do that. I've been getting into reading lately. The one I'm reading now is this, Stay Strong. Each chapter is different, okay? So it just talks about like why we feel the way we feel and how we can kind of overcome it and combat, you know, our feelings. It kind of puts things into perspective for me. That's all I've got to say about it because I haven't gotten that far in. Okay. But so far, so good on reading this. To-do lists. I personally love a to-do list. Literally, since the beginning of this year, I've been writing to-do lists. Because it just makes me accountable things every single day. And if I feel like I've accomplished something every single day. You know what I'm saying? Drink water. Drink water. I forgot, I forgot we had to drink water. Literally, who doesn't drink water in the mornings? Guys, we sleep for how long? Eight, ten, six, seven hours, and we don't replenish water. That's a long time to not drink water, so I think the moment you wake up, you should be drinking water. Before your breakfast, at least. You know, you don't have to drink it the moment you wake up, but please try to drink a liter of water before you have your first meal and hydrate yourself. Hydration is key. Our body is made out of how many percentage of water? Comment that down below. We should all know this. What happens when you don't stay hydrated? You die. That's all I gotta say. There's so much benefits to drinking water anyways regardless. So you should be drinking water throughout the day as much as you can. At least like three liters a day. That's what I do. So you should too. That's all. I think I covered everything. And if I didn't, I'm sorry. It must have been a very forgetful step. I feel like I'm well on the way of becoming a billionaire because I already incorporate a lot of these things in my morning routine, so. And if you guys are new to this channel, you should be subscribing if you want. If you don't want, that's also very fine. You're missing out if you don't join the family. That's all i got to say. That is all for me. I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.